In this third video in this series, we're going to use Jack Router as the core application to make a mumble mixer. And we're going to bring in as assistants Voice Meter Pro and Reaper. So here we're looking at the Jack Router connection bay. To connect with Mumble, this time we're using another VB Audio product called ASIO Bridge. This comes with its own virtual audio cable at high fidelity and it's bit perfect and it doesn't do any internal sample rate conversion. So you have to match the input and output sample rates for this to work correctly. So we have in Mumble Hi-Fi cable Hi-Fi cable has both the input and output. So Hi-Fi hi cable output for the input and Hi-Fi cable input for the output of Mumble. So, so you see everything that comes in to the Jack router is coming in to VB ASIO bridge on channels 1 and 2. Every audio that I want to go to the Mumble input. And the Mumble output is on the other side of the ASIO bridge and it has its own separate connection so I can route it to that last channel in Reaper 13 and 14 and process some audio on the mumble output with this right here. So I'll uh, activate the loop back real quick. You can see what I'm saying. Hello? Hello? Check, 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 check. So this, so upper, this upper is the upper actual, is the actual audio. audio. Well, well, hold on a second. So the upper was the audio level that's coming in to the mixer and this loud max keeps it at minus 12. Let's do it again. Test, 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 test. Okay, so that pretty much sums that up. So that's how we're getting everything to and from Mumble within Jack Router. In Reaper, I have 14 channels coming in, and that's set by the INI file in Jack Audio. I'll show you that real quick. So you have to go both, both to 32 bits and 64 bits and look for the INI file. And I have that input and output is 14. So when Jack Router starts it'll give you 14 pins to work with. You can have less or more. So I have the other two applications in the first two. We have Music B that's now able to choose Jack Router because any ASIO device that has ASIO support you can select Jack Router and it'll, it will appear inside this connection base so you can route the wiring. Very convenient. So we've got that working. It's coming in just fine. We also have Mix. Mix also, excuse me, that's the voice meter. I'll be right back to that. Here's Mix. And again, so we have mix coming in. We're using 11 and 12, and so I can hear it. It goes to the system. System just means my sound card, which is a real tech. And 11 and 12 also routes right up here to the first two channel inputs of ASIO Bridge. ASIO Bridge connects the ASIO driver to the Hi-Fi cable virtual audio cards that install when you install ASIO Bridge. So I'll show you those in the Windows devices. There's Hi-Fi cable input. And Hi-Fi cable output. So go into properties on both of those, playback and recording, make sure you have the sample rate the same. I'm using 16-bit 48K on all my Windows devices. So that's how ASIO, and again, you can choose the ASIO driver here, and it will show up in the Jack Router connection bay that way. Carla is a really fantastic app. You can even tell it where to find all your VST plugins. and You can use any of these. So if I wanted to do some Let's try this one here. So there's a VST that pops in here. Let's see if I can get it 
working this way. Testing, one, two, check one, two, check one, two. So that's kind of my spectrum right there. And it's just one example. I'm going to remove it now. So Carla lets you come on in with any of your VSTs that you have loaded into your system. You just have to tell Carla where to find it. So this is my engine settings. And there's the paths. Let's look at the VST. There we go. So I'm telling it to look at those places. Wherever you have your plugins, that's where you would put. And now Voice Meter Pro. We're using it as an assistant to bring in four additional sound cards. Three hardware and one virtual. The virtual so I can have desktop audio, which we'll give an example right here. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> So there was a podcast playing on Windows Media Player, and it comes in voice meter right at voice meter aux. Now in this, the first line is a sound blaster. The hardware input one is a sound blaster stereo. This is my USB mic that I'm using. I have all these set like that. Here's the Behringer as before coming in on input three. And let's see what's on input if we have anything that's right here. Ooh, and it didn't fight me. It just kind of came out. But in fact, it's a little, there's a little port on the TWIT uh, network. So he's coming in from the other computer. I have an audio cable run into the line input for the Behringer. And we don't use this one. We're just going to use this one, voice meter aux. Now you have to set that up in the menu correctly when you do these channels. So I'm going to have two channels left and right for the Sound Blaster sound card and hardware input one. So I had to put in the patch composite one left and one right. Same thing for my USB microphone. Two left, two right. For hardware three I have the Behringer. Three left, three right. Now I have room for one more stereo ch channel because there's only eight going out of this bus. So I chose th the fifth one here and kept it at voice meter aux. So that's desktop audio and it comes right in here and then it comes out right here on 7 and 8. So desktop audio comes out here goes into Reaper. Desktop audio right here. Let's play it again. Good to see you all. I knew he was going to do that. Not that you so I'll turn it down a little bit. So we have desktop audio coming in. <laughs> 7 and 8 goes to the Reaper input 7 and 8 right here and you have to route it correctly so take it off a master and just get, repeat it again like we did with the virtual insert ASIO driver so we have out 7 in 7 and 8 out 7 and 8 as you just have to click this add audio hardware output right there with that drop down menu and then choose the right number so I also have effects, just in case you wanted to equalize. So you get the idea. So you can take it out. And I'm not particularly trying to get any good audio out of that just to show you the effect. And then turn it off with that button. So anyway, you can adjust that however you see fit. A lot of plugins are available to help your audio and improve it. Okay, so let's take that down. Now to my iPad over here. You have it coming in. And that would be the Sound Blaster. Which is this one right here on hardware input one. So voice meter is connecting with that sound card. For the hardware A1 output, you just select Jack Router. Only in the A1 can you select an ASIO sound card. And there it is, Jack Router. Then it'll take any of these other inputs. And you have up to four that you can use if you want to keep it stereo. Since there's only eight channels in, in going out. Because, I mean, that's, that's, that's so we have so Sound we, Blaster once, coming once in we're using it, we can't right there. The API. But what made you and it goes to 
actually out the voice meter pro out one and uh, two which i have going into uh, reaper three and four now this is my laptop microphone because of my asio for all we're using the real uh real tech hd audio out audio mic input accepted format or they were developing the website which is so that's what that's for and that's where i had the tones coming in as we did before so that tones coming in the mic jack going to the reaper any we're doing the same thing as before. They have that noise filter. What would you they have like an EQ to do on it. And Frequency so spectrum. Let's change it to 16. It looks familiar, and we have the scope. By the show ID. So we can look at the waveform. Like so it looks great. So that's that. Alright, let's take this off. We do is that audio very convenient uh, when you have it all in jack router it's so e it's a little bit easier to wire everything and it's really great having reaper in here with all its uh, sliders and i have room for all the sliders right here so i can adjust what i want to hear and how much goes to the mumble input and you can also apply on the way any of all these special effects. So again, if you want to keep an automatic gain control, you could just add that to any of the tracks that you see. And I think that's just about it. J there's some other videos in the channel about Jack Router, but as far as convenience and keeping things clean, you can save this configuration bring up all the software, then click open the previously saved configuration and it'll draw all the wires. So you only, only have to do this once. The other thing that might be unique with Reaper is bringing in a MIDI control. So if you had a MIDI controller with a bunch of knobs and sliders, you can control this that way too by directly connecting to the MIDI input of Reaper with your, with your MIDI device. So the output of Mobile is just right here, 13 and 14. So the inputs do not go to the outputs, and the outputs don't go back to the inputs. So we have all this going to the input of uh, Reaper, I mean the VBA ASIO bridge, which is the input of Mobile, and then the output of Mobile has its own separate channel so that you can modify the audio just how you want to hear it. And it just goes to you in the sound card. It does not go back to the input of Reaper if you number this correctly. And make sure to take it, unclick in these routers on all these. Don't use the master, otherwise it will send it to channel 1 and 2. So mumble output. Again, it's only 13 and 14. There's no master. If I click the master, then it would go to 1 and 2, and then you'd get that audio feedback loop, and it would, would be non-stopping. It would just keep going back over and over and over again. So just turn that, take that off and then just use the routing to duplicate the input channels and use the same numbers for the output channels. I think that's pretty much it. So this is still probably a few more ways you can do all this but this should be enough experimentation to ho hopefully create some interest in using these great products for creating your own mumble mixer with this kind of software thank you for watching